Hello, Glitch Reaper here, I'm back for some more Engendered Frontier, and, uh, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of an issue for a moment, because apparently my, uh, settings on my crystals had been reset somehow, so I just had to get them in the right modes, because apparently something had went around there. I, I still have an energetic infuser now, and I have energy infuser, which does work faster, uh, might add. I don't know if my flux system is even going to matter, as long as I've got the rest. But, anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead with the shield uh, augmentation, if I can. I think I have enough resources. Uh, I, Of course, I have a lot of energy I may have to redirect back and forth, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, first of all, I have... Okay, I think I have sufficient Draconium. Because what I need to do is I need to upgrade the shield capacity and maybe shield recovery. I won't go too terribly high tier with either as long as I can. Uh, or at least go with what I can afford uh, to upgrade. Because again, I just need to last long enough to let Juzhar do the rest. So, that said... <laughs> let's see what all these entail. Now... They require, apparently, a diamond chest plate for that part, a gold chest plate for the recovery version. I can kind of see that. Now, these are upgrade keys. They're never used up. So once you have them, they're yours indefinitely for the rest of that world's history. So you don't have to worry about this being, like, poofed or anything. It, it doesn't get consumed with the operation. So I'm going to need a couple of draconic cores, uh, some more draconium ingots, some lapis lazuli, and of course that diamond chest plate. Now each of these is always four draconium ingots, four gold ingots, and a diamond ingot. So I'm going to be dipping into my supply. I still have some left from the last time I went draconium mining, but to say the least, it, it's a special process. You kind of have to just to have an eye for detail there. Uh, and I need to T turn, oh, sorry, I need to take on and off this ring whenever I work with them. So, if I need to reset them again, I will need to uh, take my ring back off, because apparently it does that whole block placement thing otherwise. Maybe I should have never merged them and just kept the Ring of Odin, because the Ring of Odin is the only one that really gives you, like, the extra health. So, that's probably something that I should just have kept with the Ring of Odin and have had the others as keepsakes. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to need at least eight gold ingots, because I'm going to be making two of these. I'm going to be needing a couple of... I'm going to be needing some sufficient diamond, actually. I'm going to need a chest plate worth, and a couple of raw diamonds. Okay, that should take care of that part. Uh, the other things are mostly draconium ingots. Uh, so I should be fine on that. So let's see where we're going here. Oop, I didn't mean to hit click there. There we go. Now I did go hunting in the... Uh, oh yeah, I also need Lapis Lazuli. But yeah, I did go hunting in the Dreadlands again for EMC. It really is the best place I know of to get some in a hurry. So, the, oh, I was going to do that other crazy thing. Yeah, I, ha I have an interesting plan for how to automate getting an in in a heavy amount of EMC. Kind of. I it's, uh... Yeah, there we go. We got the upgrade there. Now, let me see. Upgrade key. Recovery is the same thing, only with a golden chest plate, so okay. But yeah, I have an interesting idea, and it's going to be just hilarious if it works. And I've got everything gold except the chest plate. Uh, okay, I do have the chest plate. I was going to say, if I don't see that, it would be a little weird. Okay. Okay, I need eight of those. Pair of diamonds. Not dimmons, diamonds. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay, so... Did it... Okay, it just didn't place it all that I could have used. Sometimes it does that. Especially that way. So, it happens. And this is also because the expense of doing these is another big reason why I went EMC hunting. There's... and speaking of which, how's this doing? Oh, that's doing pretty well. I'm starting to get a decent reserve. Of course, I'm just letting this go singleton for a while, so... Because I can outpace it pretty easily just by going to the Dreadlands, so it's kind of like a backup or Kickstarter source. It's not really meant to be my primary. My primary is hunting in the Dreadlands for getting EMC. And if I did an absolutely dedicated trip, I might be able to get some of the big stuff. We can see why they have uh, gold here for the recovery, because gold is associated with quick stuff. Uh, upgrade key. See, those I don't think I need to... RF capacity, maybe, maybe, but again, I don't have to last super long. I can do, like, bigger upgrades if I get bigger suits, but I don't know if I'm even going to bother. Because I might not need to. Because if I can just survive long enough to get... Oh! No, 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 no that, that wouldn't figure. Okay, if I, if I can just survive long enough to cripple the uh, Chaos Guardian with Jazahar, I will be fine with that. That will just be beautiful. Now... Does this show from here, the studer? Okay. Okay, so it's showing the different recipes on the different tiers that way. And since I'm going with tier basic, I'll be needing... Okay, Draconic Core each. And then... Uh, Golden Apple, Diamond, and Eye of Ender. Uh, two each. Plus the upgrade for capacity, plus the draconic core. Uh, the upgrade key again not being actually used up in the recipe. Okay, now let me see here. Do I just have the basic tier? Can I even... Yeah, those are just basic, but if I get the basic shield upgrade and the basic uh, shield recovery upgrade, between those two, it should be sufficient. So, I should be fine, and I've, I've got my armor in here, by the way. Uh, just, just in case you're wondering why I'm, I'm wearing uh, Dreadium Samurai gear. But, as I kind of explained, I was going hunting. I'm going to need all this available to be swapped pretty quickly. There we go. Uh... Yeah, that 256 is my shield, and the thing is that it can be battered down with rapid attacks, and the Chaos Guardian can totally do that. So, yeah. Okay, so let me review what I'm going to be needing. Pri Ooh, the Abominable Snow Golem nailed one. Okay, and this also tells me it's time for night. So click. There we go. It'll minimize how much damage they they go through. Well, there will be some occasional conflict. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, uh, everybody. It's been uh, great having you uh, helping me out. Okay, the weirdest thing is about Earth is that sometimes it auto-replants and sometimes it doesn't. It's just got this bizarre inconsistency on that. Okay, now let's grab myself what I'm going to need to upgrade these, uh... Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to cook up some more... Uh, Draconium. Because I... I know I'm going to need it. And... I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go to speed it up with the furnace. The Prudentium furnace is fairly good. I, I can I can do better eventually, but this will do for now. 
Wait, is this the one that was doing it weird with its... Yeah, it was. I was gonna say, because some... It's, it's like, for some weird reason, on this exact version, it doesn't seem to know <laughs> how to do that quite perfectly, so... Yeah, because I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need even more than that, I think. Let me see. One each? See, so that would be... No, uh, whenever... If I get that all cooked up, it should be more than enough to get all that upgrades. I'm just going to have to think of the other parts I'm going to need. Uh, at least in terms of capacity. So, I need to cook any more? Maybe. But I'm just going on a capacity run for now. I'm going to need two golden apples, two diamonds, and two eyes of ender for each part. Okay. So, I'm... Well, I do have those already. I, I was eating through them myself for the... combating the, uh... The Guardian of Gaia, and I, I'm going to have to go through some more Gaia fights uh, as well to end things with it, but... Hmm... Let me see. I'm going to need two each, so... I can do that with what I've already got. I'll just have to power up for more apples before doing a big fight again. So, I don't think I need to make any more th on that front. So, just to do those basic upgrades, I should be fine. Uh, now, as for diamonds... I need eight of them. And that's just for the upgrade. That's not even for all the cores. Uh, for all the cores, I'm going to need an additional four. And was there some... Uh, oh yeah, I was going to need... Uh, Eyes of Ender. It's going to need two each of that, so... Okay, so that should be sufficient for that. Notice how fast that drained. Okay, putting you over here in a project chest for a while. So I think this is my... Yeah, it kind of is. Sort of. Not entirely. It'll do. Okay. Now let's see how my Prudentium Furnace is cooking. Are you done? Sort of. I could use it a little bit more cooked. Like, a lot more cooked, if possible, thank you. Uh, I don't want to do it all, obviously, because the thing about it is sometimes you need a little bit. So it's kind of weird that way. Where do I have my tab? Okay, there's my tablet. I was, I was looking around for it. I can look through the recipes otherwise, but still... Uh, clickety, clickety. Oh, uh, there you go. Couple pieces of charcoal. Should get a pretty good amount. AP3, because this does have an efficiency boost. I don't know just how much it is, but... Eh, we'll see. I do know that having a little extra on this front would be a good thing. But... Because I'm going to go through a lot of these ingots, but at the same time I don't want to do it all, because there's some recipes that uh, specifically require the dust. So... Yeah. Eh, that's for something special I might not need to work with. But maybe... just lo I have other options than the disk locator, the tablet. I want to smelt it very quickly with pyrothium dust. Uh, actually, I don't think I need to worry about it that much. I've got the only real item that I needed with the dust. So, I mean, is, is that really true? Is there, like, nothing else that I can... Okay. Okay, N never mind. I can cook it all if I need to. Well, that's fair. Uh, that's sufficient to start my operations, so let's let's go for it. Okay. Okay, we have that. 
We have those. We have that. We're gonna need core each. So that will again require me to go with gold. Uh, let me see here. It's gonna be like 16 ingots of gold for all that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hunting didn't really, uh, <laughs> didn't leave me as much of a margin as I thought, so I think I'll only be able to do the capacity upgrades. I won't be able to do recovery upgrades. Eek. Okay, I, it's, it's been a while. I forgot just how stupid expensive Draconic Evolution actually is. So, pardon me as I'm, uh, forgetting that, uh, yeah, it just sucks up anything that you could theoretically EMC like a black hole. Actually, wait, dude, I only needed uh, four for this, I think. I needed one core each. There we go. Uh, oh, I also needed the, like, two diamonds. Okay, that's a, that's why I got that. And now I remember. Okay, I have some draconium left over for now, but that will not last long. Not once, not once I commence operations, because it's, it's going to be wild. Okay, everybody's fine. Uh, I'm not specifically charging anything right now. Okay, it looks like th that was enough to get that half stack worth of draconium cooking. So I can commence with uh, the festivities. Okay. Now, let's uh, get this going. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put shield capacity here. Having the other thing crafted is still going to be good just in case. No, you. I didn't want all. Uh, I also forgot that other little tweak about Draconic Evolution that for some odd reason it wants to take whole stacks at a time. Whenever you're trying to be specific. Okay. Uh, so I needed to remember that it likes to be goofy about that. But as long as you don't click it with an actual stack of stuff and you separate them out, you'll be fine. Did I misclick that? Nah, it's just paused. It's doing that lag not letting you interact with block thing again. There we go. Okay, so... Let's think, what do I want to power up first? I think my chest plate would be good. So let's start with that. Okay. And start. Oh yeah. Well, I built up a lot of power in them from previous stuff, so this sh this should be fine. Okay. It it don't mind the sounds too much from my engine to respawner, if you remember, he does that. Although, uh, one of these days, there's going to be something pop right out of that gate again and hit me. It's happened before, it'll happen again, trust me. <laughs> I think you've probably seen a few. <laughs> Where something just sneaks out of a gate and, and hits you. How close are we? Oh, 87%. Yeah, it's, it's going pretty fast. Is it stuck? Oh, it's that, that thing. Okay, so the particle effects continue even whenever it lags. That's and you can maybe is that what's going on? Or do I need to power it again? Okay, let's uh, take this off and see if I can. Okay, because this is on output, so it should be outputting to these. Uh, these are on, but so let's. I 
Balance mode. Balance mode. Let's try that. Give it a little, little shift around. Rebalancing you for a reason here. I want to see if you will actually feed in better this way. Otherwise, it's mysteriously stuck at 87%. Everything should be fine for it otherwise. Because output mode outputs to what it's next to, I think. I think I need to reach that. Get it to drain more. It's stuck at 87%. Uh... Why are you jammed now? Well, that one's completely drained, so I can't really, uh... Maybe you have to power the thing below. Oh boy, uh, this could be an issue, because I need to get enough power for another star, and I don't know if I can leave. Uh. Uh, do I have enough to feed into it to power the main generator? Okay, this is a last-ditch effort, where it means that I, I'll at least get one thing powered up, and then I have to hunt to power up more, or I can make a run for it and see if it works. I don't have things that prevent my conditions from being an issue, so... Oh, here we go. I figured that was working. Shields work against Wither. Yeah, I won't actually take damage for a while. But I need to let my entropy die off. I wanna watch this, even if I have to grab milk. Okay. Three fifty-eight. Okay, now it's time for the milk. Oh, was it that thing where it's stuck? Oh, I'm gonna have to go out and then go in. If it, if that's the thing where it's stuck on you, then I'm gonna have to go out and then in again. Yeah, it's it's phantom stuck. It it that happens. Uh, I'll 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 be uh I'll be back. So I need to log off and then log back in. Okay, I have logged off and logged back in. Got to meet Enderbook. I'm going to try to teleport to my stronghold area, and you know I might want to put up a few things first because I might wind up getting a little bit more uh, loot along the way. So yeah, okay. Okay, put that there. That's something I need to put in my in my projects chest because I'm 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 gonna probably be using these. Well, I can leave that one just in there because that's part of the project. 
But this is going to take a little while. I'm going to put that up. Maybe while I'm in the end, I'll... You know, I also... Speaking of which, if this uh, teleport works perfectly, I won't even really be needing that, so I can toss that in. Okay. Uh, the uh, slightly discharged gun from my hunting trip. Uh, <laughs> I uh, may have had a little... Uh, little uh shooting spree against the uh dread guards. Uh okay, so let me see here. If this works, I've got a test to do that I'm very curious about, having to do with abyssal craft actually. Because I've been wondering if maybe, just maybe, uh I can break the chaos crystal with my, uh... What are you doing here? Why are you attacking me? Uh, also prevents Dread Plague! <laughs> uh, that's interesting to find out. <laughs> Okay, that was, uh... Of course, he... Uh, he really nailed my entropy rating. Oh my gosh. Uh, see that entropy rating? The Dread Plague is just pounding it. And milk does not help. I thought I could fly instantly in the suit. Do I have did I have to upgrade it to flight no that's a different tier that's right although while I'm here <laughs> let's just watch the shield go off for a while is it's preventing even dread damage okay okay that that's fair okay now since uh that part's over and did I did I forget that I needed to carve a new... ...staircase? Because it, it remakes the area every time, so I must have forgot that I needed to get a little more line there. Okay, hi everybody. Oh, it snapback? <laughs> Weird timing for snapback. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I might as well uh, get myself some Ender Lilies. They are worth it. And then I am going to be going on quite a flight. Now, let me see, what are my coordinates? Because that's insanely important for what I'm going to do next. Okay, that seems to be going positive that way. Okay. Okay, that will be sufficient. So, all I need to do is fly like crazy, because if you're looking for a Chaos Guardian fight, you have to go to places that are multiples of 10,000 in, like, any set of directions. Wait, not up. Is there something... Oh, uh, just... I was right next to the edge and it obstructed me. Fair enough. Okay, as I was saying, I'm going to fly over there. And whenever I find said location, I will be back. Uh, it should be fairly stable to find. I just have to go a very long distance. Uh, admittedly, though, there's also the plus side that, uh, well... Uh, I think I'll have sufficient, uh, shieldage for this, because I'd have Jazahar right here. Like, right here, so all I have to do is just pop him down instantly, and then I should be fine. Uh, th now, there's also the possibility I might find some other fascinating structures along the way, 
But, as long as I remember approximately where I uh, took off from, in terms of where, which coordinate I'm leaving kind of neutral, and which one I'm going for a multiple of 10,000, then I should be fine. So, my... Uh, Let me adjust that down just a bit, and... Just edging my angle. Be pretty close. Okay, so I'm just using my X here, and... Wow, that, that went on sufficiently long that... that and have good enough flight speed that I wound up getting to the outer aisles. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I, mean, I did use the teleporter before, and ooh. Okay, I will also mine draconium along the way because I really need to. I have a very lucky uh, pickaxe, so whenever I find a Chaos Guardian, I will return. I said that there'd be other structures along the way that were interesting. Well, here we go. Landing darn gas size is huge. Uh, gas are just tremendously uh, big. Thanks for the uh, morph and everything. And okay, uh, <laughs> uh wasn't knowing for sure that would be a thing, uh, but I accept that. Plenty of ender lilies. I've been doing some heavy amounts of mining along the way. Potion of levitation? I don't know. So, you may notice a slight EMC explosion. <laughs> uh, Wait, did I have shulker shell? Oh yeah, I did have shulker shells from before. Do I have shulker. I haven't actually obtained the shulker box yet. I haven't actually crafted that, so just so I can put it in, might as well. Wait, why am I worrying about a chest when I've got some here? I just need to make sure it's sufficiently drained. So I'll transfer the things I'm not necessarily going to take over here. So I won't be needing them entirely. Eh, potion of levitation. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll grab that. Endermites. Might as well take those things because I've got them. At least some of that stuff over here. It's a very unusual gain. Like seriously. And yes, I have stacks of draconium after that. Oh goodness sakes. That's that's kind of hilarious. Of course, the big treasure here is the Elytra, and for more than one reason. More than one reason. Okay, let me see. Have I got that there? Okay. I have. Eh. I'll start doing stuff with shulker boxes eventually, but thing is, you need a letra for more than one reason. One of which is you use it to make the fusion part for the Ender Dragon, or a command block, which itself is actually and yeah, that's an actual recipe. Uh, I'm not going for the Kaikoku this time. I don't think it's going to actually be sufficiently... Well, actually, there is a way to make Electra otherwise, but I'd have to do some very careful crystallizing for it, but that's fine. That's fine. At least I think I can. Can I? I, I thought I... Thought that recipe was added in the materializer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's fine. But anyhow, at least I got them this way. I got them the classic way first. But as for what it's also useful for, let me see here. Uh... You can use the command block to make the fusion part for the Wither Storm. It, yeah, it's, it's going to be a wacky recipe, because the command block alone 
I might add, this means that you could theoretically make the command uh, block uh, armor from uh, uh, from block armor, but it would be insanely expensive. Uh, because, again, the recipe is just ballistic. You require a nether star, name tag, a dragon head, a dragon egg, sponge, a saddle, uh, in crystal, which is more expensive whenever you have uh, Draconic Evolution because of its requirement for another star in and of itself, Electra, and Rabbit's Foot. Uh, it's a very wacky recipe, but for very good reason. So, yeah, that, that's going to be just nuts. And uh, I, I think I'll contain it in here. Although... This gives me an opportunity. Well, actually, I need to keep a keen eye, so I probably shouldn't be going too fast. Uh, the Electra are good. Like, really good. But they're also absurdly good. <laughs> like, so fast it's ridiculous. Uh, I've got the regular instant health potions and stuff, so I think I'll leave them behind. Okay, I'm going to temporarily do a different morph, because I want to... Uh, I want to actually grab the Dragon Head, because every last one of these ships will be important for... Both, uh, uh, the, uh, Electra and the Dragon Head. I don't think these, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's a particular tool that accelerates getting these or not. But, okay, let me get my bearings again, because that ship just showed up, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to tempt you so hard. Let's see, which direction, okay, I was going this way whenever I saw that. That, that, that's right. So is there any other orange this way? Oh yeah, there is, there is. So I'm going to be going back to my uh, original thing I was doing, which was uh, mining along the way. And, uh, well, a very quick raid. <laughs> quickest raid of an in-city ever, I, I have to admit. So I'll be going back to mining along the way, and maybe I'll start with the dragon fight next time instead. Because I got shield upgrades, I got Electra and a Dragon Head, so maybe uh, that, that's going to be okay for now. Uh, so I guess that means I'll be logging off for now. Uh, so hope to hear from y'all later, and bye for now, everybody.